Hey everybody, this is Carla Alexander with Keeping It Real. Today we're gonna do a quick, quick video on how to make some fried salmon. I already took the pleasure of peeling the back of it off. I really wish I had thought about this before, but I said, you know what? Might as well just go ahead and just film this really quick, show you guys what we're about to do up in this piece. Next time, I'll show you how to actually get the bottom layered skin off, all right? So anyway, as you see, I have my filet of salmon. I cut it up into squares or rectangles, as you see. Lovely pieces, lovely pieces. But then over here, we have, this is my seafood seasoning. My seafood seasoning contains a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I didn't add any salt. I did a tablespoon of lemon pepper and a half a tablespoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of obey. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different and I'm about to show you what I'm gonna use for a coating for this. Right here is the secret weapon, okay? Rice Krispies, who knew that Rice Krispies could be used for anything other than cereal and Rice Krispie treats? So I'm gonna give these bad boys right here a nice coating with this. I'm gonna crush it up and then we're gonna do some dipping. It's gonna give it that nice crunchy outer exterior. Ooh, I can't wait. So right now I got my oil on. I'm gonna get it up to 350 degrees. And we're about to fry these bad boys up. All right, so we're gonna. Okay, just play it safe. Just gonna do quick cooks, just play it safe. As you see what I'm doing, that's how I crush them up. I don't want it too ground up, but I still want some of that crunch. But I do want it to be nice and grinded. Let me show you. It's nice and ground up, but it still has enough fine powder to stick to the, the salmon. It's pretty, right? All right. Now we need an egg. Flour. That's it. A heaping quarter cup. Quarter cup of cornstarch. Equal as heaping. Or not necessarily, I guess, right? Okay, so now the tops are good. I'm gonna go behind all the stuff I put on the cutting board. Yeah. Look at that. Look at these pieces. Oh my gosh. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's just give that like a nice coating. We're just gonna coat all of them. Just the whole nugget. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. Okay. Okay, we'll throw a little bit more on this one. Just a little bit. All right. About two tablespoons. No, a little less than two and a half. I mean, a little less than two. I don't want it to be too salty. All right. The oil is ready, so let's get to dipping.
So we're about to put this timer on for five minutes. Okay, so my salmon is done. So I'm gonna show you what happens at five minutes, okay? So this is crusted at five minutes. It has a nice dark golden color to it, but it might be a little too dark for some people. So what I did was I went ahead and fried the last three for about three minutes and it's more of a golden as opposed to the dark. So I'm about to cut this open. We're about to see what it looks like inside. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that is. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Oh, that's beautiful. Now this, this one is at the five minute mark. So you can tell if you happen to like a darker crust, leave it on for about five minutes. But if you want a more golden color like this, leave it on for three minutes. Look at that, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at that, look at that crust. I'm about to, oh, listen to the crunch. Mmm, oh my God, mmm. You guys have got to try this, you got to. You have to try these. Oh, hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Guys, I'm gonna coat this. I'm gonna make a remoulade sauce real quick. I'll be right back. So I can stack this nice and pretty for y'all. I was trying to stay off the camera because I'm having one of those days where the hot flashes are a little intense but I did not expect this salmon to come out the way it came out and I am really, really excited about it. So I have to show you, so I mean, I have to get on camera and show you exactly. Now, come over here, show you really quick. We're gonna go over here. So of course I had to make a remoulade sauce. I saw this recipe this morning and I'm like, you know what, let me just try it real quick. I had this salmon. So I made this and we're about to dip this and see exactly how this is gonna be. I don't wanna be gross. Let me not be gross. So we're just gonna take some of this, we're gonna put it right here on top of that. I mean, it's so good. Mm. You hear that crunch? Mm-mm. 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 This is really good. This is amazing. Mmm, it is so tender, oh my God. It is so tender and juicy in the middle. So, sorry guys. I'm gonna leave you the recipe in the description box below. You guys gotta try this. This is like, absolutely, I mean, the crunch is ridiculous. I mean, if you really want a nice fried, crispy, crunchy, and juicy fried salmon nugget, or even strips, whatever. Doesn't matter, now you got it. Mm. And you can use pankos if you want. Whatever type of breading you wanna use, I just happen to only have Rice Krispies and I've been using it ever since I discovered that you could use it. I might never buy panko again. Mm. Yeah, all right guys. Now I'm gonna commence my hot flashes, but Diet. But anyway, <clears throat> this is Carla Alexander here with Keeping It Real. You guys know, you know what? Do what you love. Don't let anybody tell you different. I love cooking. It might not be my thing, you know, professionally, but it helps me get through these hot flashes. And anything that can help you get through something that's really, really hard in your life is definitely worth committing to. I'll haul that shot later. Mm, so good. That kind of